Well, how do that, chums? I have dialed in my graphics settings. I've put them on medium, and I've changed all the sliders to 66%, apart from the film grain. And so I'm hoping that this gives us a better experience inside of New Atlantis, people inside the viewerverse. So let's see how we get on on. I'll show you my settings in a moment if this is successful, because I'm trying to get a better frame rate. So... We eating at the Sagebrook. So here we are right. in New Atlantis. From the Terra Brew. And I yes, I am actually recording at the same time. I've got a new ship, by the way, people look at that beast. Isn't it freaking awesome? But the particle particle effects still look okay. And, you know, this is on medium now. I'll show you my settings quickly, people. So let's uh, let's head on out and bump and um, bump again. Settings, bam, display. So yeah, I put it all on medium. And then I just adjusted this to 66% and the sharpening I put that to 66% and I am now using FSR R2 again just to upscale a little when it starts to struggle. So I was on Ultra and I did turn off the FSSR earlier and uh, yeah it, it had good effects on planets but inside of this city I was having noticeable frame drops. But now this seems to be okay. Now I've been told by Dutch66 that the place where you buy ammo is right next to this place. So, okay. Um, hello, UC Security. security. I'm going in. Hope you, you don't mind. You okay. Um, well, I don't actually see it. Hello? The well's been having Seems hello? Like the Crimson fleet is oh, great. These days. It's going to give me another blinking like a virus mission now, isn't it? Systems. So that's not the shot. Like so where the fudge is the dang place. shot? Are you a shot? You're standing here, old lady. No, she's just a citizen. These guys wouldn't be. So apparently the mercantile place is right here. Apparently, right. I, I was looking right at it, according to Dutch. I, I can't see it for looking, mate. Honestly can't. Okay, so well, there's a lot of characters here anyways. Okay, what about these guys? Are you just citizen, citizen, yeah. Okay, well, we'll do a little bit of an exploration anyway, since we're trying to test out the the frame drops. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Is this it here? In here? Okay. Maybe? No, no, that's a security okay. office. Alright, well, let's put this let's put my mining tool heard, away. No UC point in running around with that in hand. Good people. And Sergeant, you what about here? There's just loads happens of to be tables and stuff. I, I can't spot this mercantile thing anyway. Let's just jump back down here then. Alright, so let's have a look up by the shipyard then. Because you said it was near to the shipyard. You reckoned I was looking right at it. Alright, we've got maintenance. Oh, I might be able to swap my ship here somehow. Hello, mate. Who are you? Technician. Hmm. All right, well, let's go to this board. Let's see if we can swap the ship out. Hey, what can I do for you? Boom. Oh, wrong button. Ships, ship, ship, ships. Nope, this is not where I'm going to be um, controlling my ship by the looks of things. Okay, let's talk to you this chap. Anything I can help you with? I'd like to modify my ships. What ships do you have for shit sale? Okay. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay. One of your ships is unregistered. You must register the ship before you can modify or upgrade it. Alright, how do I do that then? Oh, wow, look at that thing. I like that. Holy fudge. I'm way off on credits for that. Oh, that's cool. That's nearly my logo colours as well. Well, how do I view my own ships? You know? Okay. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Sure, have at it. Sure, have at it. Okay, cool. All right, fine. So I've got this guy. How do I register this? Okay, let's have a look how much... Re register it for... Oh, I can afford to. Might as well then. Boom, there you go. Done. Right, where's my other ships? How do I swap... Aha! There you go. And make this my home ship. That one. Done. That's now my home ship again. Sweet. Thank you very much, mate. Okay, well, worked out how to do that. At least we at least we did something while we was here. 
Now, I did notice a couple of little frame skips there, but it was probably loaded in my ship. I think we can forgive that. I think it's running a lot smoother inside of this city. I would like to find the Mercantile area. Um, I have no idea where it blinking is. It's um, Maybe I need to search for a video. Where do you find ammo inside of Starfield? Such a mental. Right, well, we're heading down this way. On my big monitor, though, it doesn't look as good as it did when I had my settings before. There you go, let's change the old view. Running while encumbered. Oh, well, am I encumbered? I didn't know I was. I guess I am then. All right, let's put that away again. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, apparently, Dutch said I was looking right at it when I came down the ramp. So I come down the ramp. He said it's right next to this thing. I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere, Dutch. All right, well, let's uh, let's leg it up here and let's see if I can find something up here then. It'd be nice if there was like a little mini-map of this place. Let's have a look. Is there a mini-map? That shows big map. Surface map. RB. Okay. Um, well, that's no bloody good, is it? That's like outside of the city, isn't it? This is just showing all my mission markers. Bartenders. Craft or modify an item. Maybe I might be able to craft some bloody ammo. Um... All right, well, that's that's not really helping anyone, is it? Okay, let's have a look for the shop then, while okay. we're here. But this seems no, to be going okay-ish, frame rate-wise. I'll have to watch the recording back just to make sure, but it looks okay from what I can see here. Does that say Mercantile? It does. There we go, Jeminson or Mercantile. There we go, people. This is it. Let's go see if we can buy some ammo in here. Oh, this is very swish and dapper. Should I wipe my feet before I go in? Well, Sarah bloody didn't, so I'm not going to. Anyways, it wasn't the muddy planet. It was, it was a dusty, dusty, dusty one. Hello there, you. Hello. Um, okay, um, I'm going to talk to the... Hi there. Hi there. Thanks yeah. for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got Sweet. questions, just ask. Okay, well, it looks like everything's all honky dory there then. I'm um, just trying to move my mouse down a bit just to check the older levels when talking to characters. All right, let's uh, jump back over onto the game screen. Ah! You get back? Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. I, I want to actually buy and sell stuff in here. How do I do that exactly? I said look around. Surely you're at the counter. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm I'll like sure to see what we you have, have for, sale. for sale. There we go. Oh, please take a look. Please take a look. Okay, cool. Here we go. Weapons, ammo, brilliant. I don't know what caliber my freaking gun is. Fun times. Okay, um, twenty-seven cal. I, I, I could take a guess. Let's let's have a look at my weapons. One second, lady. For coming in. I'll come back in a second. I'm just going to take a look at my weapon. Cutter. Yeah, don't need that. Does it actually say what calibre it is? Okay. I guess we're going to have to go into here then. It just says mass Eon. My weapons. Right, so it's a pistol. Ammo, it's 7.77 millimetre. Okay, so I need some 7.7 millimetre ammo. Okay, love, I think I'm good now. I, I, I would well, like to talk to the... Well, junk you're hauling is seriously slowing you down. There is a bit more in the back. If I'd like to see what you have for oh, sale. please, take a look. Ammo and 7.7 seven calibre. Where are you? There we go. That's what we want. Okay, I guess I'm buying all of it then. Yeah, fine. Thank you very much. Sweet. I wonder what other guns I've got that might be any... QC security, you're under arrest. Why am I under arrest? I've got special orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. What the... Why? I've been authorized I've been to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. <sighs> Man, I only came here to check my gaff graphics bloody settings, mate. Additional information. Um. 
We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination, the UC Vigilance. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility and will be met with aggressive force. Oh, great fun. It looks like I'm going off without even really wanting to. Okay. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. Oh, for fudge's sake. I knew I shouldn't have come back to Jemison. I went there just to sort of check out the city. Just to check out the city to see what was going on. And now I'm in shite. Oh, and I'm in Sol as well. Great. I don't want to press on with the main blinking story yet. I'm not ready for that. Okay. Look, I can't move. Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. Great fun. You just sit tight. Commander wants to have Let's a little chat. Let's as well. The prisoner is ready, sir. Seriously? I'm trying to get up and stuff. I'm pressing every single bloody button. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Right. Just let me pay off my fine so I can get out of here. There's nothing to discuss. It doesn't look like the local jail. Hmm. Highly perceptive. Let me add that to your list of skills. Speaking of which, let's see what we're working with here. Hmm. It appears you have a bit of a background in big game hunting. Yeah, but true. It, we'll be certain to put those skills to good use. Stick it, I mate. I also see that you have mined on Vectera. And now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. How do you know this? Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. What was that exactly? I will. When I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sistev. Are you familiar with what we do? Um, yeah, I honestly don't care. Yes, well, this is your only opportunity to keep yourself out of jail. So I suggest you change your attitude. UC Sistev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. Well, I killed a load of those. Is where you enter the picture. Right? Yeah. Mm okay. No. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. I killed We've some. We've been at the Crimson Fleet for years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. I own one. scratch the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Okay. Not for me. For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sistev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, yeah. and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Uh, okay. Well, first of all, we'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. Wipe the slate clean. What? Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Can you get the dead bodies or off my new ship? You can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Okay, um... Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. <laughs> so, what do you say? Well... Are you going to work with me, or should I find someone else? Well, except offer, yeah. 
Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. I really wanted to buy some poxy ammo. Smudge and hack. You go shopping, you get arrested. Oh, hello, Sarah. Bloody lot of help you've been. Okay, all right. I guess we're following you then, are we? All right, let's go. All right, go on then. I don't know where I'm going. I'm following you, my friend. Bunch of neck. This guy's... Cool. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Coming in all alone, infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. What? Still, it makes you wonder. Especially with the stories that go around. What like stories? About how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Great. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I know I couldn't. Yeah, being fed to sharks, maybe. Don't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? Um, being cooked alive. Flailed, even. Flailed? That, that's not a nice one. Being eaten by, like, um, flesh-eating dog welts. They're snails, by the way. Dog welts. Yeah. Imagine that. Being eaten alive by snails. That'd take a while. Alright. Alright. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Great. Okay. Well, this is, um, this is fun, isn't it? Okay, activate... Okay, right now what? Where's this Excuse commander? Me. Yeah, did, did I get off on the wrong bloody floor? I freaking did, didn't I? He didn't come up with a list of floors. Okay. I'm sure this is the way I just came. I don't know what's going on now. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. You're the guy that just escorted me, right? Get out of line and I'll put you down. Clear? Alright, so I guess we were on the right floor and that mission marker is just BS. Fine. Great. I don't have to deal with other bloody cutscenes. Okay. Hello. Lost a bet to one of the officers. I've got mob duty now on my birthday. It's gonna suck. Well, at least you're not in my blinking shoes. Hello. Holy fudge. Why is the mission marker pointing back that way? It makes no sense. Who have I got to speak to again? Some commanders, something or other? Oh, yes. oh, there you are. Anyway, you freaking clown. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center oh. of the UC Vigilance. Sysdev's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Are you being serious? Okay, you've got to need more and more... yeah. And this is me shooting my way out of this prison ship. Hmm, that could work. I don't know, I don't really want to tick these guys off, but then again, I want to get back to just doing exploring, don't I? For much sake. Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. I do. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia. 
So you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay. You'd better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second-in-command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. This is getting more and more freaking painful as it goes on. We move quick around here. Better get used to it. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Okay. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Mate, I just want to scan bloody planets, you ass monkey. Right, okay. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Awesome now, biscuits. Get out of here and good luck. Okay. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence, and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. I'll tell you what, those dead bodies are still on their mind blinking ship. That's, that's, that's a deal not done. Alright, who have I got to talk to now? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. What? I yes. don't, I can't remember who he said hey. to talk to. Okay, hello. Oh, for fudge's sake. Come on, put it somewhere. Oh, fudge your neck. Howdy. Who am I uh, supposed to talk to again? Pardon? Oh, her. All right. Be nice we don't have a lot a of time, so I need you to head. listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. Okay. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Yes. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Okay. You have to understand that my agitation with the Crimson Fleet comes from personal experience. Right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Okay, I'm gonna bring you as much evidence as I can find, but I'm already uncumbered. You arrested me when I was I was carrying a shed load of frickin' pebbles. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Hmm? Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return as compensation for your efforts. Great. I might be able to buy a new ship. It's not generous. It's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. I was being polite. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. Brilliant. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, She'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. You do know that as soon as I get out of here, I'm going back to scanning freaking planets. Okay? Okay, cool. Okay. Goodbye. I'll be here if you have any more questions. No, I don't. I'm off to go scan some bloody planets. Goodbye. Hello. See ya. Wouldn't want to be Excuse ya. Me. Nope. I'm not going to listen to any of your dribble. I'm gone. Fudge and heck. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I've got a load of weird stuff though in my blinking cargo hold. I'm probably going to get arrested as soon as I fly anywhere else other than where they've told me to go. Oh, for fudge's sake. I think I'm nailed to this one, aren't I? 
It might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. Wow, we just teleported to it like magic, like freaking wizards that we're not. Oh, some biscuits. Okay, right, I better sort out my own inventory. If I'm going to have to blank in, you know, no oh, fudging heck. How do you do inventory on this dang thing then? Um, front it. Okay, that's my ship, yes. I want to transfer inventory, cargo hold. That's X, which is actually the square button on here, I think. No, it isn't. Or is it? I don't know. Am I in there right now? What does it say, active frame? Okay, um... Which one is X? Is that X? Oh, fudge sake. I, I really hate Xbox controls, and I wish it would map them to my blinking PlayStation joypad. I have no idea what I'm freaking pressing half the time. Okay, Y, X, cargo hold. That is cargo hold, I think. Ship. Can't be, for fudge sake. Right, better look up a picture of a freaking Xbox controller. Oh, I've got no battery on my freaking phone! Okay, Wolfie sent me a picture of an Xbox controller the other day. Here we go. Right, so X is actually this button. And that is what's in my cargo hold. Right, well, I want to left button, I guess, then. Inventory. Yeah. Frontier. Inventory. Aid. Resources. Oh, for fudge's sake. How do I get to my own bloody... Is this my stuff? Yeah, okay. Right, so I want to put a load of resources in there. Yeah, how do I transfer that? A. A button. Which one's freaking A? A is this one. Cool. Yeah, all five. Yeah, do the whole lot. I should do a trick. Notes. I keep that. I keep the aid. Ooh. I've got a load of new stuffage, have I? Oh, look at that! I think I should be in pirate gear for this. Can I equip it? Compared to equipped. Okay. Pirate crew outfit, a little bit better on the old physical. And it's piratey. Oh, for fudge's sake, I just bloody stored it! Ah, oh, some biscuits! Okay, I'll be. How do I get that back out? There we go. I think I just took it back out. Sweet. Let's go stick that on. Um, how do I put it on? Inventory. Let's go for pirate suit. Ha! There we are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that. Heck yes. Didn't look nothing like that in the last bloody picture, though, did it? All right. And let's um, let's stick some more bloody guns in, shall we? Um, okay, I have to go into guns. That that just that's annoying as well. Weapons. And to favourite it, there's not a button down there. Oh yes, there is Y. Which one's Y? Well, if that's X, that must be Y. Uh huh. And I'll put the gun there. Um, I'm going to favourite that too, and I'm going to put that. Over there. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Okay, this semi-automatic weapon. I'll stick that over there. Oh, we've got another one. Modified Maelstrom. Rattler. Little pistol thing. Okay, I'll stick that there. Rescue axe. We'll put that over there. You know what? We'll stick the we'll put the modified one on there as well. Sod it. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. Uh, I think we're ready for whatever the world throws at us now. Let's go do this then. Well, this video is going to be longer than I expected it to bloody be, isn't it? All right, cool. Um, where are we going for this mission then? I just want to survey some bloody rocks, you know. Ask about mortar inside. I've got to ask about. Why have I got to ask? All right. Okay. I've got to speak to bloody Sarah, have I? All right. B. Get up, I guess. Fudging heck. 
Sarah, where the fudge are you? Apparently, I've got to talk to you, even though you've got no been mission marker over your head. Since I've been to Mars, Sol system doesn't get a lot of traffic. Ask whatever you'd like. Go on. Oh my god. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. It's not hard to believe. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. Brilliant. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. If you could see me right now, people in the view of us, I have my hands over my face. I'm cringing in many different ways. Thanks. Very well. Next time, then. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Until later. All right. Okay. Well, that really wasn't part of the freaking mission, was it? Okay. Right. Well, there's the mission. I don't like these mission markers. If they're going to tell me to go talk to somebody, and then I don't need to bloody talk to somebody. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let's just um. Let's just do what I thought I needed to do, and we we'll just go to the blue marker on the poxy map and see what blinking happens. And I, I, is that even the planet? It looked like a freaking warped potato. Okay, let's um, let's click that then. Oh, okay, people. I found what I needed to do. So under missions, there's actually two. There's deep cover and burden of proof. So I need to go to proceed to Sidonia. So I just selected that, and that's exactly what I'm doing now. So here we go. I'm sure we had another mission for Sarah there. Oh, for fudge! Seriously? Oh, okay. X. And we're on our way. Let's see what happens. What? Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. I know Please this. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Go on then. Yeah. You're cleared to land. Enjoy your stay at Sidonia. Really? Okay. Um, I think that's what needed to happen, isn't it? All right, fine. Now can I land in Sidonia? Land X. Cool. So that scan should have highlighted myself to this person that I need to infiltrate. I'm sure it's a lady from the name, but it could be wrong, you know, changing times. Don't want to assume a gender. Heaven forbid it's an arrestable offence, isn't it? Okay, right, let's go on in. Well, this does look like a cool planet. Can't wait to get my Xbox controller, so... I wonder if the broken spear is still open. It's the only decent place in town to grab a drink. You're having a laugh. Come on, look, the air quality's shite. Come on, Sarah. And was that, was that, was that a request to go for a drink? That, that, I, I'd say what yes. A lovely view of the Martian sky. What? Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. You seeing what I'm seeing? I'm seeing a big frickin' raging storm. I can't even see clouds. How's this sky to you? Okay, come on. Let's go. She's obviously been to the bar already, hasn't she? Punch and heck. There's some good photo opportunities here, though. I will be coming back here to fully scan this git of a planet at some stage. All right, I guess I go across this mezzanine, through these doors, and then over that way. Is in the engine. Leech is on the hall. 
multiple leeches in the grab drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. So what? Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. God, getting science lessons now as well. Want the fudge? Go. Cool. So my want to buy ammo has led me here. For fudge's sake. Okay. Well, we're going in then. Great. This does not bode well. This feels like I'm going to be cut up or something. You look hurt. Might want to head on over to Reliant. Sorry. Dr. Flynn will get you patched up. What do you mean there's no work? Yeah, do you the have any idea how much far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We right, okay. So I'm just going to walk straight over to this head of the pirates and they're going to trust me. I am in pirate uniform. Let's put this gun away, maybe. Eh? Look at this place. There you go. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. Maybe stop imagining then, Sarah, you know, just... um. Seriously? You're the head of pirates? Is this a thing? You look like that lady out of Brick and Matrix. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. I'm here to sell, but I'm looking for you. I brought something you should be interested in. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. Correct. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Um, there you go. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. <laughs> you must be new at this game, love, so I'm going to let that one slide. In our business, nothing gets done until money is exchanged, even if that means leaving a credit on each and every rung of the ladder as you climb your way up. Well, that's not going to happen. Well then, we have nothing left to discuss, do we, love? Be seeing you soon. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be concise. Right, okay. Can't we just fail this mission? That that that, that, that would suit me fine. You know, at least I accepted, we got so far, then we screwed up. Yeah, you know, that, that works to me. You bring me that finder's fee? Or are you here to waste my time again? Sure, go ahead. You shoot me and the TA will have bounty hunters on your ass before you even get back to the spaceport. Listen, love, I've heard it all. Threats bounce right off. So either cough up the finder's fee or try and sell that shipment on your own. Great. So none of those options in that list actually did anything, people. Didn't change the story, didn't do anything. This is one of those text adventures where it doesn't matter what you, know, you select. it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well, it appears she suddenly remembers everything. Hmm, how nice. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If right. he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. It really hasn't. I'm going to stuff you in a box in pieces as soon as I get a chance. I know that sounds rather sinister, but... You know, I just got told I'm going to be strapped to the front of a ship and left with oxygen bleeding out, so, you know, there is that. Haven't you asked me enough questions already? I, oh yeah, you told me a name that I've already forgot. Somebody Kemp. Adler. Adler Kemp. Alright, fine. Funny enough, it didn't tell me where I need to find this person, but the actual mission marker knows exactly where they are by the looks of things, which is probably handy. 
A friend offered me a nice cushy office job, but I'm making double out here. Oh, there you go. Adler camp. <laughs> Joke's on there. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. <sighs> hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. I said it quite quietly, uh, mate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think we can help you with this. You said it quite If you've got a whole you? shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Oh, I'll have some biscuits. Seriously, what? Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Wow, Perfect. He's Just named choose a top Carl option, Fielding. people. I think you'll find him wandering on. around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. Well, that's you. Okay, alright, fine. Howdy. Yeah, hi. Oh, for fudge sake! It's not in there, is he? Why did the mission marker point me into the frickin' lavatory? There's no stairs in here or anything. Come on. Oh, I hate stuff like this. Yes, what? Uh, this is why I don't really do RPG games, people. You know, it's, it's, it's following little blue markers around screens that give you no sort of idea of depth or where you gotta go and point you through walls in bloody lavatories. It's like... One times. Oh, okay. I'm going in here. The stairs through this door is there. Well, oh, cutscene, of course. Right, oh. Um, lovely place. And um, we've got the pointer pointing through the freaking floor. All right, let's just let's just follow the corridors, Steve. Follow the corridors. Okay, okay. Let's just look for the saddest looking, grumpiest Let's person down here. Faith in God is what brought us to this if I get another blink inside mission by accident, I'm going to be pretty ticked off. Hello. Something I can help you with? Well, he doesn't look too bad. Adler Kemp. Uh, who the heck is that? Yeah. Mm hmm. Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Whatever. Seriously? Uh, hey, hey now, <laughs> take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Yeah, sorry, I, I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> oh my god. I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. Uh, I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah? Tell you what doesn't sound good, these storylines and all the padding. That was just really painful. Okay. Come on! Give me a break! What the... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now. Okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Well, you can smack right. somebody with the stone, Perhaps that's going to give you blood. Already been through enough. What the fudge? Seriously? 3,000 credits? 
I'm going to be freaking skint from this mission. Ah, oh, for fudge's sake. Holy crap. Really? Y you'd do that for me? I just hope I get wow. a better reward at the I, end of all of this. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. For everything. And don't worry. I'll never borrow anything from Adler again. I promise. Right. I have no freaking idea, Sarah freaking Morgan. But come on, we gotta find our way back up to bloody Adler now. I reckon I've just said to Adler, look, I'll pay his debt for him and then, you know, skip all this bollocks. Okay, right, so. Go, let's go. What the fudge is going on out there? I think I should pick up a hobby that's outdoors. Good for you. Oh my freaking good days. You, sir, have got fashion, style, panache. I love the pants. They're oh, and the bag ensemble, the shoes. You've got it all. Oh, it's gone. How rude. Like a freaking magical genie. I think he was a real genie. Okay, right, let's go this way. Oh my god. I thought that last guy was jazzy, but no, you've upped him. Okay, right, let's let's go this way then. Hey. Go. Well, how do there? Right, you're gonna need that life jacket when I'm done with you, my friend. Have something for me? There, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore, or did he get the message? Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. No, I'll be skinned. You think you can handle running with my uh, associates? I hate you. I hate you. No. Oh, for fudge's sake. No, 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 no. There's no maybe. If you want to join up with us, you have to push every damn chip you've got into the pot. I'm talking all in. So again, I don't so can you handle choice. it or what? Well, I'm going to have to say freaking yes, aren't I? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. I hate this. All right. I'll call hold of Navamora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. How much cash? Great. I just lent 3,000, spent 1,000. I made 800 freaking credits. <sighs> okay, burden of proof, done. Freaking awesome. Yeah? Okay. What do you want now? I would, am I talking to you? No. I'm having your freaking knife, though. I'm going to pretend you didn't just steal that. It was nice. And, you know, I just spent 4,800 freaking credits, Sarah. So, you know, come on. Okay, right, let's get back to the bloody ship. That's not the way to this poxy ship, is it? All right. Come on, then. Let's see if I can set that knife into my inventory. Yep. Oh, it's a lovely knife. Barrow knife. Okay, cool. Yep, that's definitely going to be a favourite. And why? And that is going right there under my health pack. Lovely. Sweet. Oh, I better look at the actual mission to see exactly what it's been updated with, because now I've got to speak to somebody else, haven't I? Oh, great. I thought I was back on my ship, but no. Okay, okay. I've completely forgot which way I came from. Okay, cool. We're out of this place. Sarah Morgan, why is the mission marker pointing over there somewhere? Okay, is that my ship over there, is it? Okay. I must have took the wrong way or something. 
What about this ship? That's pretty cool. Just nick that. Or that. I think I'd get in trouble if I nick any of them. What is that squeaky noise? That bleep bleep noise? What's that all about? What's going on? Are you still with me, Sarah? Yeah, she is. Good. Go on. Well, let's have a look at the old mission wheel before we get back in. Let's just see what I've got to do. Missions, missions, missions. Where are you, missions? I, I, I was just here a minute ago with missions. Ah, I can't remember how to get to bloody missions now. Where's my missions gone? I'm sure it was here a minute ago. Okay, let's have a look at skills anyway. We've got some skill points to unlock. No, I want to do scanning if possible. Astronomics. Geology. Yes, we could go for geology. Surveying. Heck yes. Sweet. Okay. I mean, I, I, that's what I like doing. Research methods. Medicine. We go for geology as well. And then I would like... Oh, scanning again. What the fudge? Botany. Is, is that all I've got? I want zoology. Spend two more points in science to unlock advanced. Oh, for fudge, really? Research methods. Both new and time-tested methods research in many projects faster. Don't really need that one. Medicine, don't really need that. But I've got to choose two in here. Okay. Fine. Or do I just have to rank her up? That's, that's not very intuitive, is it? Spend one more point, okay. Well, we'll go for we'll go for medicine then. Okay, cool. All right, well, there, well, there we go. That's what I'm gonna be proficient in, and I want that one next. Want that one? Sweet. Yeah. Pokey pokey. Missions. Ah, oh, there it is at the bottom. Missions. It'd be nice if that stayed there, wouldn't it? Rook meets King. Burden of Proof has been updated. Search for evidence. Rendezvous with Ashdrina at Europa. Okay. Okay, people. Well, I think this video has gone on long enough. But I think you get the general idea of what a mission is like. At least if I leave it here, I haven't spoiled the whole thing. I've just shown you the first sort of element. So you know what? I think that's a good point to end off. So there you are, people. That's burden of proof, the first step, just to sort of get you started on that mission. But yeah, I'm going to be going back to scanning as soon as I possibly can, people. Hopefully see you for those. Okie dokie. Coolio. So yeah, peeps, um, what I really like to do in this game is do the scanning and sort of discover stuff. But obviously I've got to do the odd story mission if buying ammo I get arrested and thrown in a brig. And um, yeah, I hope you like this. And I know it got a little bit ranty at times, so sorry for that, people. I mean, I am enjoying this, don't get me wrong. What I don't like is where you get given multiple choices. And none of those multiple choices actually change anything. So what's the point in giving multiple choice? And it's, it's, it's the illusion of something grander. It was the same with Cyberpunk. I had the same gripes with Cyberpunk. There was things inside the menu trees that I wouldn't actually say if I was there in person. And it, it feels like, well, I might as well watch a movie, you know? That's not RPG to me. RPG is where you're rolling dice, you've got a games master there, you've got somebody intelligent coming back to you with things. I can't wait until games get to the stage where you talk and they reply in turn in kind to what you've said. And it's almost like having an AI version of a real worldy games master. That's where I want these games to be, because right now this sort of stuff to me just feels like yesterday, tried and tested, done and dusted. I've been there, done that, got the freaking T-shirt, mate. And um, it, it isn't breaking any barriers for me or boundaries, this sort of game. But at the same time, I'm thoroughly enjoying the planets. I like the worlds. I'm, I like the voice acting even. And I did hate that Russian guy. So they got to me. And that's what these games need to do. They need to stir emotions. It stirred emotions, but the wrong ones, mainly for the developer side of stuff, I guess. And, and games not living up to my expectations, which is my own fault, not the games. This is thoroughly enjoyable. If you like this sort of game, you're going to love it. I don't like this sort of game where you've got multiple choices that don't actually mean anything. Anyway, people, I'm ending off now. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.